Yeah, we're at the races! So this is the 3 o'clock race. I am taking a video. Yeah, so we've got... <laughs> so we're at the 3 o'clock race and Carrie's gone for, for pleasure and I've gone for Edward Stone and the third time lucky. So let's see who wins. Well, for pleasure. Oh, oh, none of us might win, but who knows. Probably not. <laughs> it's fun. They're coming out, look. It's so nice here, it's actually freezing them. Like, it's this is my dress from Zara. Number four, this is Carrie's outfit. Third time lucky night to two of Amarillo's guys. I went for pink because, because I'm all in white and I wanted to um, dress it up. Also, um, the shoes are off already um, because I fell over and I'll show you my knee in a minute. But yeah, it's not fun. There's the horses coming out now. All ready. Oh my god, I'm not even showing you, sorry. Yeah, they're just there. What colour's mine? I don't know. No. Um, oh, wait, it tells us here. Mine's the pink one. Mine's the pink one, guys. And the black one. From Edward Stone on the outside and the So they're not the here yet, yet guys, but they're just sleeves. on the little screen for us to see. Bigger. Often a trailblazer being held on to in the early stages in the pink jacket <laughs> and Mick Pastor is just the back marker. Okay guys, we've got um, a bottle of Prosecco. The queue was literally ridiculous for this drink. But we decided to get... No, we didn't get Prosecco. I am a lion. Or was I? <laughs> we got a bottle of rosé, guys, because the queue was ridiculous and we just thought we can't be bothered going back again. So we've just got a bottle to share instead. <laughs> like just look at how busy it is here that like that's the oh I'm just full on recording people but like that's the bar over there it's just ridiculous Absolutely. <laughs> yeah it's just so crazy I put my bag like over my shoulder because it was just in my head and it was so busy over there so just thought yeah whatever so oh it's still so cold the sun's out though which is nice but when the wind like, is there it's really cold so that's annoying we've just missed a race because we were waiting like 40 minutes yeah. genuinely like 40 minutes for um drinks so not the best but oh well there is Alison Killer Kane. Dan Blue put in a really good job to the outside. He took him up now for a dispute of fourth position as they race towards another flame one. It's number 13. And it's Whitten and Hope in by Felix for Sam Brown, Dan Blue, Grumpy Charlie Killer Kane, Didero Vallis. And then out wider as far as Tay is now getting notably closer. At the back of the field there, Oscar Elite was pulled up before taking that previous plane obstacle. Now an open ditch. Number 14, it's Whitten and Hope, and he landed out in front. Now the surprise danger behind those is Killer Kane. Whitten and Hope is weakening now. Then Steve Clipper and Accelerator Express on this run down towards the final fence. This Sam Brown is charged into the lead. Has left down through standing in behind. But racing down to the last, Sam Brown surely has only got a jump in to win. Sam Brown steady, and he's playing a mighty lead. Sam Brown is clear by 10 lengths now. So Sam Second, then Killer Kane and T Clipper, they're heading up towards the line. Got up, Rosie. I put my shoes on the floor because they're stressing me out holding them. And we're just waiting for like the main the race, race now, the big race, which really And so to so join yeah, them on the it's still really winners' cool. podium. And, like, when the sun comes out, younger generation, I don't know if you can see well that. under the but wind, when the sun's out, and the wind from, uh, isn't like that strong, the battery comes on tonight. Anthony Honeyball. They're talking over me, and that's really rude. So yeah, when um, <laughs> dearly, I know, <laughs> really, like, can they not see I'm trying to vlog? But, <laughs> but yes, um, 
but it given is the fact that we do have a, a, a smaller race coming up in less than an hour, it's just the wind really. Oh, that wind's coming. Like one of the leading fans. But of yeah, um, uh, we're just giving them going a out of the gear, aren't we? I don't know what you're saying. We're going out. Yes. Oh, I'm an alpha so long guys, so it's going to be fun. The rest of the yeah, it's such a nice day here. I love getting all dressed up. Putting a little fascinator and a nice little dress on. And swilling myself like I just have. Like, I've genuinely just swilled myself with my own drink. What wins the big race so. while we Have you work out whether he is or isn't going to come down. And he is bang on cue. <laughs> I know one of the great things this week is his mum's in town and she'll be so thrilled by I, the winners that he's written and who knows what the next I haven't will even bring. drunk that Your much. applause, yeah. please, for the winning um, jockey, like Aidan yeah. Coleman. I, I really haven't drunk that much, guys. <laughs> I can't believe I've just done that. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun day anyway. The I have been there, but I don't actually understand. Five, I feel like maybe I should stop vlogging until they're not announcing. Um, yeah, so we've bet on a few, but I don't really understand how betting works, and we're obviously going to bet on the main one, aren't we? But yeah, um, I don't think we've won any. Yours came last. My horse came last. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what mine came. And I picked the favourite as well, so I'm really annoyed about that. How are you going to do it? Even the favourites don't win. So I'd, 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 yeah. You win some, you lose some. Or in our case, you just lose some. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but we've got wine. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's all we need. Rose in a good time. Yeah, so I'm gonna watch. Right, we're gonna have a look now inside the horses. We're gonna bet on for the main one, and we'll let you know what we bet on and if we win. Yes. Okay, so it's so loud now. This is like the main race now. So I'm really excited for it. I bet on like four. four. Yeah, so I bet on Manila Times because that is the woman jockey. So of course, why not? Everyone's still shouting. Um, I bet on something power. Because, um, you know, English teacher, English graduate, and all that, so it makes sense. Snow Leopard S, because that sounds really cute. And Mighty Thunder, because it reminds me of Paul. And who doesn't love a bit of Chris Hemsworth? Yeah. Yep. And she doesn't have a clue who she is. I forget. I forget. She's forgotten, so she doesn't actually know who she is or who to win. She can just um, hope that mine went instead. Oh, I want a pound before, guys. I want a pound. Yeah, I want a pound. So I'm assuming one of mine came like second or something, I don't know. But one pound, 16 pence to be precise. So I'm very proud. I'm proud of her. <laughs> so combined, we've won one pound, 16 pence. I'm proud of her. Prepare to take the first. Front row beats and Longhouse Poet. Uh, down at the first end, Joel Dallin. Another one has gone at the first. It might have been Mount Ida. On towards the second, Coco Beach, Rock Cat. And then uh, a little wider is Class Conti as they race now to the wonderful beaches. And it's the great Coco Beach who leads them over the cliff with Longhouse Poet towards the inside, the Red Cap and Soft Cap tracking them. Those landed two for gold is right up there. But we've lost in translation a yellow jacket and Augusta Gold and remainder Sanam and then Iscaria 10 as they make the run towards Beaches. And it's Coco Beach the Grey. He's going to lift off just in front with two for gold right alongside. Uh, leaders are over OK. Black Line made quite a bad mistake. It looks as though the bulk of the field has cleared Beaches. And they're now bearing down on the Point Avon fence, the smallest on the course. Coco Beach and two for gold followed by Long Hands. Uh, still uh, lost in uh, translation. I just and then is a baller. Who no did you bet on well again? The moment. Nicholas, Augusta Gold yeah. was a baller of that last fence as they move on to the next <laughs> two for gold in Coco Beach the Grey. Schoolboy hours has been called up 
as they jump this one. Longhouse, handy, Fitter on the hoop. It is still there, right there, with Sanford on the inside in the yellow cap. And they're chased by any second now, and still towards the back, Snow Leopard S as they make their way towards the Anchor Bridge crossing, and it's Coco Beach that leads from two for gold in second place. Then Longhouse Poet on the inside, wider out, it is still lost in translation. Free wheel in Dylan. Then Roman de Sanan just hunting up the leader. Santini is not too far behind them as well. Any second now. Also good boy Bobby. Coco Beach, Cindy is on her. Lost in translation. And free wheel in Dylan. Two for Dylan and Coco Beach over the next. They're going to be waved out towards the right as they jump the next uh, defence of the off of this one, the ditch, because there's a whole... Lady of Pink Filming, I see you. Smell the wine, it's cheap and beautiful. Smile, we can share the night with you. Okay, so guys, we're going out, and I'm not going to lie, I am debating wearing this jacket because it's absolutely freezing hours and I am shivering. Like, we've been in the hotel for like an hour now. I've been cuddling this cup of tea and I'm still like freezing. I've been stuck by the radiator and nothing's warming me up. <laughs> like, I don't really know what's going on, so I'm kind of scared to go outside. Um, so I don't really know what to do. Also, my phone dies, but now it's charged really, really quickly. How odd is that? Like, it's like fully charged. Very interesting. Well, not really interesting, is it? But just odd. So, yeah, I hope we're loving the Saturday night's outfit. I'm just going to have a good time. Finally got dinner, guys. So I got um, penne arabi atta, I think that's how you say it. Just basically tomato and garlic pasta. But look at how nice it looks. I don't even know if you can hear me over all the noise in here. But, yeah. And then curry got some sort of pizza. I remember what it's called. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to eat this because I've not ate today, so. And it's now, what time is it? It's 9.36, which is not smart, especially when we've been drinking, but. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Hey guys, so it's now the next morning. I've checked out and I'm just gonna do a bit of shopping before I head home. I've got a Starbucks. Oh, that's Abby's Starbucks. She's got a caramel frappuccino. She's got a really cute cup. Let me show you the cup. Look how cute her cup is, guys. Really pretty. And then I just got a um, iced chai latte. I'm a bit tired, but that's about it really, I couldn't really sleep much last night but it was just such a fun day I think I won like £1.16 I'll check my app now though, let's see um, bit, bit sad usually at the races I do win like not your mega money but like I only win like a tenner or something but I literally won like £1 so I am a bit sad about that but yeah, it was a fun day, so that's good. Okay, so I won. Right, here's what I won, guys. So on one of the other races, I won £1.14. Um, yeah, £1.14. On someone called Edward Stone. So that was on one of the earlier races. Not that, not that my hair's a bit crazy, isn't it? And I've just smacked my phone against that, it's not good. Um, yeah, so I won like a pound on that. And then on the main one, because they're paying, so they said, it says on the app, I'm paying seven places instead of four. So that's nice. So I won one pound 70. On, it's very noisy in this Starbucks. Um, I won one pound 70 on Longhouse so I won so much money guys, a whole £2.84 pence. I'm so rich. 
I really wanted Snow Leopard Dust because it's such a cool name. And I'm kind of sad about Manila Times. I felt like that was a good one. Apparently not. Mighty Thunder. Who else did I put on that one? Oh, that was it. Yeah, because I'm one. Yeah. So, um, yeah, not, not the best, really. I am kind of disappointed. But it was a fun day anyway. And I fell over. I don't know if I said yesterday, I can't remember, but I fell over. Like before we even got to the race course. So we got off the train and then we gravel. Abby, be quiet, please. And there was like this DJ like playing at the train station. It was quite cool. Um, I've got like clips of that, so you will have already saw. But so, yeah, um, as I was walking through, I was dancing, you know, having a good time, having fun. And naturally, you know, I haven't wore heels for years. Um, I'm not the best in heels. So, I'm walking down, it's like a bit of a pothole, and I just dropped to the floor. And I've never like jumped back up so fast in my whole life. Everyone turned around and was staring at me. It was like so embarrassing. I was like, oh my god, I feel ashamed. My leg was literally like pouring with blood. So the lady that was there gave me two plasters. So shout out to you. Thank you so much for giving me the plaster. Because it did stop the bleeding. Um, but I just had a good time. I've lost my drink. Abby, can I have my drink back, please? She's robbed my drink because she wants to be the last person to finish. Well, it's gone, so you must do. We've lost a chai latte, guys. I don't know how we've lost it, but we've lost it. Um, I, I can see it. It's under. Oh, it ran away. It's under the table. <laughs> She's actually put my drink under the table. Um, but yeah, it was so fun. I absolutely loved my outfit. I don't know if I showed you a full like look of it so if i didn't i will insert a picture but um the all the pictures will be on my instagram anyway so all right calm down but yeah so um yeah have a look at my insta all the pictures from the races will be there but yeah